Charlotte shooting 39% from the field. Out to Stevens. Okay, so he's got the three ball as well. Stevens dials up a long one. Jake Stevens out of UT Chattanooga. Played with the Capital City Go-Go a season ago with the Washington Wizards. Milner Jr. checks into the ball game for the rookie Castle. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Boy, Charles Lee really engaged on the sidelines. Out of bounds and off nine points, getting a breather right now. Think about what Lee's feeling just finally getting this opportunity. He's on the sidelines, running the team. Mm -hmm. He's been grinding for a long time. Ward with the turnaround, slick move, good footwork. Yeah, back to Lee. You had mentioned the fact that he had been a leading candidate for a head coaching job for a couple of years going now. Spoke with people in Toronto last year, and he was extremely impressive in his interviews there. He eventually gave the job to Ryakovich. And off the miss, here come the Spurs. A chance to cut the lead below double figures. Ward. Milner around the screen, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Ten team fouls before you shoot the bonus. And ten Did I hear violin? Before you foul. <laughs> I wish I could. You like that rule? I love it. Nobody wants to see these guys sitting. They got to play. Yeah. They got to figure it out. <laughs> Especially some of the marquee guys as Jameer Nelson Jr. will check into the ball game to run the point for Bouye. What do you make of uh, Bouye's game so far? You've seen a bunch of him. You know, he is just one of those guys that I think can come in and, and run a team. I think the biggest question at the NBA level is just a just size. Right. You know, and, th and that's what's so crazy is that there's th these guys you see at the G League level, they have so much talent. Simpson's got a ton of talent. Beautiful feed there to McGowan's. And you know, Simpson's the same thing. It's not like he's not good. Right. It's can you defend your position at the next level? Can you deal with the speed and physicality? Um, and th that's going to be the challenge for some of these smaller players. Nelson Jr., one of those players, had it knocked away. Comes out to Ingram. Nelson Jr. relocates to the three-point line. Great hustle. Knocked away underneath. Good defense by the Hornets. By Slater. McGowan's on the probe. Slater fires. Boy, he started it at the defensive end and couldn't come up with the bucket. Ingram behind the screen. Tough fadeaway. Loose ball, it'll come back to the Las Vegas. Or really deuce for basketball zealots like us. Oh. It's the best time of the year, right? To go there and see players and coaches and front office people and to mingle and to to spend some informal time with them. It's so fun. I mean, if you're a basketball junkie, yep. you can make the trip. Get on out there. Games all day. You go between Cox Pavilion and Thomas and Mack, and it's fun seeing all the young talent. See, how about the growth of it? Yes. Yeah. It's, the last year was absurd with Victor Wendenyama and Steve Henderson playing, and there was a legit buzz in the building. It was cool. It all begins on Friday, July 12th. Time, 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 time doubleheader. ESPN 59 44 here and the ball did a few victory laps finally went home down to a 14 point game Spurs hanging on to the rope here's Simpson that pass was coming in a little bit great visual Jameer Nelson Jr. on the cross Good help defense once again by Gee. That's a nice player to have on your back yeah. line for some help. McConnell was a little off balanced and Gee flew in there and knocked that out of bounds. Junior Nelson Jr. getting into the paint at 6-2. You were talking about the size of some of the guards and some of the players in the G League and some of the smaller guards. You know, sometimes I think there's an unfair bias against shorter guards, Deuce, because we saw during the NBA 
finals that sometimes they're even bigger guards that don't guard as well as some smaller guards. Hey, that's true. And yeah. you know, a lot of it too is how long are these guys? And here with another finish. And he's had an amazing night here in his summer league debut. But yeah, I I, I think it's. For these smaller guys, are you going to play physical? Right. Do you have some length? It's just tough when you don't have the wingspan. Because right. you can play the greatest defense ever. Guys can just shoot right over the top. And Nelson Jr. with that last bucket. That rebound a little bit strong. Here come the Spurs on the run. They've got numbers. Had a three on two. Inside, the reverse came off. It'll stay at this end, though, with 19.4 to go. In the third quarter, you feel like San Antonio, though, is starting to get a little bit more rhythm here. Well, the results haven't quite shown. Getting back to that part about smaller guards defensively, I can remember a time when Chris Paul was a member of the NBA's all-defensive team. Yep. Jameer Nelson Jr. with three on the clock. Ward with the look for three. Simpson with a rebound, has a little bit of time. Two seconds to go, it'll count. Draws the foul at the end of the quarter. And coming up, Team China taking on the hometown Sacramento Kings, the second half of our doubleheader tonight. Get a look at head coach Doug Christie of the Summer League edition of the Sacramento Kings. I tell you what, we had a chance to watch Doug take his team. Oh, man! Gee! Going OG style, caught a body. He is putting on a show tonight. 21 for him. Mm. He was up looking down at the rim for the cloud. Simpson with the hedging. Back out to battle. Nice ball fake. Low game was short. Simpson on the baseline, double teamed. They swing it around to battle. Great ball movement and the cash out by battle. Boy, Charlotte playing. Wonderful basketball. They're just playing the right way. The yeah. ball is popping, and that's what's encouraging. You know, so many times we talk about individual numbers in the summer league. Coaches want to just see you play the right way. Yes. Green hands it off to the wing. Four on the shot clock for the Spurs. He gets it back. Nice ball fake. Missed the three, and we're going to have a foul underneath against battle. Let's take one more look to College and Stony Brook and on to Pittsburgh. Elner Jr. from the elbow. Another opportunity for Jameer Nelson Jr. Had two good looks. Simpson on the break. Goes tween, got to the rim. Man, he's slick with it. Simpson with the bucket. We still haven't seen uh, their other rookies from this year. Tijon Salon, who's out tonight, yeah. he'll be playing in Vegas. They're really excited about him, and I watched some of his game. And let me tell you, he's raw, but he is first-team all-confidence. It's, yeah. it's a lot of fun to watch someone at his size. And speaking of someone at a smaller stature, I love it. Simpson again on the attack. He's been impactful here this evening. Xavier Simpson. That's going to be knocked out of bounds, coming back the other way. His star wing player with USA Basketball Select Team a few hours ago in Las Vegas and got back here courtside to coach his team. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm sure Brandon He didn't Miller, take the bus, okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he was on I don't know if he was on Southwest either, but uh, I'll tell you what, that, you know what, that, that's impactful too yeah. for a young player. You see your head coach show up right. like that. And, you know, Brandon showed up in Sacramento. Um, and you know got some practice with the team and you could tell he really wants Brandon to player and has a raw athleticism that has drawn developmental comparisons to Giannis Antetokounmpo. He said that there's a fire in me that pushes me to be my best in every play. He's currently out but we hope to see that fire in action in Las Vegas. Wow. If you're getting compared to Giannis on any level that's pretty impressive stuff. If six, you're doing that. Yeah, at 6'9", a 7, one and a half wingspan, a 9'2", standing reach, and he's got an intense motor. Right. So, you know, it's going to take him some time, but look, he's 18 years old. He had a great pipeline that starts at a place called INSEP. If you know anything about French basketball, that's their basketball academy that has been successful for a number of years, turning out 
such players as Tony Parker, Boris D. USA, France, gold, silver. And oh, wow. Take your picks for, take your pick, Deuce, for bronze in the upcoming wow. Olympics. You know, Australia's got a lot yes. of NBA talent, and they, they move that ball, they got to shoot it. I think they're going to be really interesting. It's going to be fun to see what USA looks like, yeah. too. And then you've got Canada. They've right. got a lot of legit talent, too. It's a little different yes. than back in the day when U.S. <laughs> would win every game by 75. Yeah. The globalization of the sport has been fun to watch. Amazing. Hornets with the rebound into the front court. Approaching six minutes to go here in the fourth and final quarter. That corner three, good. Charlotte continuing to connect from deep. That time it was Matt Morgan. 75-51. Still looking to push the pace. Nick Smith Jr. Morgan off the screen. A good look. Boy, he's getting his jacks up early in this game as soon. He doesn't even have a swing. battle. And this is how you win coaches over two with a little full court pressure. Relentless. And that's what Battle does. He's a really good defensive player. Has some good length. Sissoko. Defended well. Bouye with a nice cut. Couldn't get the layup. Ingram with the putback. That's a smart basketball by Bouye. Shot clock's winding down. Cut to the basket. Uh, move without the basketball. One of those real underrated skills. Smith Jr. with some get action. Back out to Morgan. Shot clock already down to six for battle. A contested three is off the mark. Rebounded by the Spurs. So Castle into the front court. Got a great screen from Mensa. Bouye for three. That was a beautiful pass. A little bit of the playmaking ability from Castle, right? And that's what they're excited about. You know, and I don't think he got to show that all the time at UConn, but he has it in his game. And talking to the Spurs before the game, they they know like that he sacrificed a lot, which shows what type of person right. he is and what type of teammate he is. Sissoko driving and draws the foul on the block. The foul he last season all off the bench with the Spurs. As Slater comes into the ball game, battle comes out. We were talking about potential medal finishes in the upcoming Olympics. And spoke to a friend of mine that watched the USA basketball workout today. He said, and this is a quote, Steph Curry was murdering that closer three-point line Oof. for USA. Oof. Forgot gonna, about that guy. <laughs> it's going to be fun seeing him play for Team USA. And, and what a star-studded team they have. Morgan with a Curry-like three from way out near midcourt. That's his third one of the ball game. I like that look from Castle, yeah. too. I had the defender on his back, created that space, just missed the shot. Smith behind the Steven screen. Good defense that time by Bouye. Castle off the drag screen. Good screen by Sissoko. Tough catch in traffic. Sissoko. Well, he worked for that shot. <laughs> He really worked for it. I really like Castle's patience with the ball. Yeah. He doesn't look like he's trying to rush. Plays at his speed. That three a little bit strong. And you see that happen so often at the professional level in the NBA where guys get to showcase skill sets that they never get to showcase at the collegiate level. Speaks to how well Castle actually played his role at UConn as well. Off the screen from Mensa. Nice slot cut, and one for Sissoko. That's what I want to see from him. He's a big guy. Go strong to the basket. You may have lost 20 pounds, but you're still yeah. strong enough to get to the